Oh, hey, what's up? I forget you're going to come by sometimes. So, we started this new series about cat meals. Well, let's talk about resupplying. You know, whether you're out there and you're on a backpack walking across Europe or you're on the AT or you're on a motorcycle going on a road trip and you got a couple hundred miles to go, you're going to have to stop. You got to stop at a gas station or you might stop for fast food. And what better time than to get supplies? Yeah. So today we're going to talk about resupply our camp. Stick around because you know. Alrighty, righty, righty, righty. Now, as you may or may not know, there is a thing called trail magic. I don't think the bikers have a word for it, but when you're on the AT trail, especially back in my time, there was people that would come up, and you know maybe they've had family members, friends, whatever that's been on the AT, and they know how hungry and tired they get, so they'll come out, and they're called trail angels. They'll bring a cooler beer. They'll bring a barbecue they might just have extra produce out of the garden they bring it up there so you can have some fresh food that's trail magic and trail angels uh you know on a motorcycle you're not gonna be on the trail and people's not gonna know where you're at so a lot of times your trail leads to a walmart or a fast food restaurant or you know a gas station and a lot of times resupplying is as simple as, hey, do you got some extra packs of salt I can take with me? Do you have a couple of things of ketchup? Uh, there's a certain Mexican restaurant, fast food restaurant, that I like southwestern kind of spices sometimes. And, you know, the same food gets old. So you want to make your own sauce, you want to change. And a lot of these recipes we're going to cover is, uses these resupplies. Um, you know, if you go to a gas station, a Slim Jim, you'd be surprised what a Slim Jim would cook down to. Um, of course, you go have your basic ingredients, but you need to resupply. Uh, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, tartar sauce, uh, little honey packs. All this comes in really handy. Uh, the only thing I'm going to say about it is when you go into these places, I am my brother's keeper. And the reason I say that is if you go into these places, you know, you give respect, you get respect. If I'm a complete butthead when I go to these places, whether I'm a big burly biker who's covered in dust, road weary, you know, got my rings on, all my metal, my leather. I'm intimidating to some people. If I change the thought process, then they say bikers ain't bad people, which we're not, it's a community. Or you're a 20 year old who happens to be on Euro sports and you go in and act like, you know, half drunk because you've been out camping and you're half drunk and you go to one of the local stores and you're a butthead they're gonna think all bikers are buttheads it's a community you have to be your brother's keeper think about the next guy that comes in if it was your little brother you know and they won't let him in the store to resupply stuff because you act like a butthead like a complete jerk yeah be your brother's keeper if you get respect you give respect if you give respect you get respect um a lot of things, like I said, Slim Jims, the little packets of ketchup, the little packets of salsa, um, you know, you don't always have to buy stuff to resupply. Um, if you talk to people, Walmart, a lot of people who camp out on bikes and stuff know you can always stop at Walmart. You might have to cowboy camp, you know, park your bike in the parking lot, take your little roll and hide out underneath the bushes nearby and sleep for a couple hours to, you know, where you're tired or a rest area or whatever. But people's always around. If you talk to people, and like I said, the bike community don't have a word that I've heard of for trail magic or trail angels. But if you talk to people, you'll be surprised. A lot of your resupply will come from just resupplying your energy, whether it be your faith in humanity, whether it be, you know, somebody's got a garden, they go, well, go up there and pick you some fresh vegetables. You got an empty Ziploc bag. How? You get green peppers. You might get tomatoes. You might get whatever. You might get some lettuce you ain't had in weeks or days. You know, it's something else. They might offer you an actual hot meal. They might say, hey, I'm having a barbecue. And, you know, there's a bunch of guys that ride motorcycles going to be at the barbecue. Why don't you come over and eat a steak with us, have a few beers, maybe spend a night, camp out in the backyard, maybe take a hot shower. That's trail magic. 
you know, I, like I said, I don't know of a word for it for bikers, but it's happened to me, I don't know how many times, especially at Walmarts. People will come up and go, hey, my, you know, what kind of bikes is this? You start talking to them, they go, what? Hey, you know, if you need a hot shower and you ain't in a hurry, come by the house. That's trail magic. That's resupplied humanity. And that's exactly what resupply is. So, I think I've rambled on enough. We'll do the next video in the next couple of days. You know, I'm feeling good today. Some days I don't feel good and the videos are sporadic. Either way, hang with Freaknet. Because you know me. Well, anyway. I'm done now. I'm getting ready to go in here and make me another cup of coffee. Go home. Well, you ain't got to go home. You got to go somewhere. Bye. See you. Beat it. Like and subscribe. Don't forget, hit that bell so you can tell when we are.